are the materials that you will need to build your lantern fly trap. This is a three foot roll of mosquito netting, cardboard from a big cardboard box, hot glue gun, a seven inch soccer cone, a smaller sports cone, a regular stapler, some twine. This is a stick that's 11 inches by one inch by a half. Some scissors, an X-Acto knife, tape measure, and a staple gun, and some chalk, and a Sharpie. To help cut the netting, we're going to make a stencil out of cardboard that is 28 inches in radius. Along with that, we're going to cut out another quarter circle from the inside that, that is three inches in radius that will create the hole and for the lantern flies to crawl through. The next step will be to roll out the netting. And you're going to line up the stencil um, with both edges along the netting in the corner and then trace it with a piece of chalk. Same with the smaller circle at the top. And then this can get out of the way. And now you'll cut along your chalk line. Alright, so the next step is to measure and cut the hole in the top of the cone with the idea that the lanternfly will be able to crawl so here, you're going to measure at an inch, all the way around. And then, keep this upright on a surface, because it helps to stabilize it. And then with the X-Acto knife, you'll just cut across by turning the cone slowly. And just keep it on the line you drew. Once you have the stick stapled, if you notice that there's extra netting that's coming out of the top, you just want to make sure you trim that down. Like that. That should be good. So this, in this step, you're going to take your smaller cone, flip it over, and rest it on top of the orange cone. In this step, we're going to tie the trap to the tree. And now we're going to put the Ziploc bag onto the trap.
close it up so that it stays tight. Cool. And prop open the bag a little bit so that there's room for the flies to crawl in. Beautiful. So the final step is to secure the netting to the tree so that it creates a wide opening for the bugs. And you do so with the staple gun again. You're going to go on one side here and the other side here. And then you want to take the two flaps of the netting and secure them with the regular staple. 